The family and friends of 12-year-old Shanika Isidore stood outside the palatial gates of the home where she lost her life in shock and grief. Isidore drowned on what should have been a routine visit to her aunt's workplace. Out on summer break, the students of the Balata Combined School went to work with her aunt Thursday morning. That relative is employed at the Cap Estate home of an American businessman. No one knows how Isidore got into the pool where she would subsequently drown. Moses DeMille, a family friend, says she is already missed. Oh, I feel very hurt and bad because she's my little friend and they go to quadrille and we are already missing her. That, that happened and we are already missing her. Family and friends already crippled by grief were further agitated when police removed the body of the 12-year-old without allowing them to view it. Jeanette Isidore, another aunt of the deceased child, was very vocal about the police action. Similar sentiments were expressed by DeMille. I feel bad because everybody there is like family and they just passed the child and everybody wanted to see the child. I wanted to see the child one more time. I mean, I saw her by the pool, but then everybody there is immediate family that there, that's friends that there, and they just go out with the child. I don't like that man. I don't like it. They treat the situation very bad. And, and they should stop, at least have the people to stop so that the, we, we, we could view the child. Because the, the child was like, a, say, like that's my daughter too. That's my wife, that's like my wife's daughter. Everybody's mommy and daddy, mommy and daddy. I mean, they should stop, let, let the people see, view the child. That's very bad about it. Demille describes the young Shanika as a sweet child who never did harm. A very good child, a very, very loving child, very loving child, quiet, nice. She would not even kill her aunt. Very good child. The incident is believed to have taken place at 11 a.m. The Cap Estate home is owned by Peter Daniel. Carmi Joseph, HTS News, Channel 4.